my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23. Whoa. Won't fall again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart all on my sleeve. Yeah. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Come follow me, can't take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they split? Did they drill? Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. Reaching my goals, I do not feel ashamed. I'm a dog, I'm a beast, and I cannot be tamed. I don't do it for fame, it's the love for the game. I go in like I'm trained. I'm prepared for the rain, they amazed. I ain't break from the sticks and stones they threw. Anything that you could do, I could do it better than you. No matter what I do, she still got something to prove. I spent the check on the diamond cross, but still ain't paid my dues. She gotta be number one, number two, never count. Used to have bubble guts competition, now point them out. Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23. Won't fall again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart. Take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they split? Did they drill? Yeah, yeah. BA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina, at Bank of America Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Carolina Panthers. Fielded near the back of the end zone, and no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. McCaffrey. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. Throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And they'll take him down at the 31 yard line. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 36-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. Yeah, not much there that time. And I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. Second and nine down. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's now third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. 
And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. up to the 30-yard line. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. It's a gain of 10. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they're in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. On play action, they'll throw. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. One of the great coaches said football's a really simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. On the tackle. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. Second and eight at their 48-yard line. Here's second and eight. Throwing middle, and it's complete. The and they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 38-yard line. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. here. second and 11. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Flushed out right. A good decision in the end to pull it. Gets him nine yards and a first. A gain of nine yards. First down, Tampa Bay. That's the end of the first quarter with no score. And he'll give it here to his running back. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. He Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And again, this time to the tailback. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Back-to-back -back -back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way downfield, ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he will be brought down at about the six yard line. First, first and goal from the six. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. 
More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Taking it in from two yards out. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Out of the gun now on third down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. That, Charles, the first interception he's thrown here in year number two. And I know it's just the first one, but didn't it feel like what we saw from him last year where he was plagued by this type of a play? And they thought that, you know, over the offseason, going into a second season, some of that would go away. Thus far, still looks a lot like his rookie year. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. They'll drop to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Panthers have recovered. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. And now it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And down he'll go at the 25. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The Panthers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. The open man is Smith. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Isaiah Simmons gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 34-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Curtis Samuel, 34 yards. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Point after, right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. 
Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Brings up second. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Got his big tight end here. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Back to throw now on first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. From the 47, it's second and five. Brings up second and five at the 47-yard line. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A 20-yard touchdown, and the Bucs have taken the lead. Lining up for the extra point. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better, and I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Justin Tucker set to kick off. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room. Start over. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Incomplete. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of his first half of play. So we reach halftime here at our first Monday nighter of the season, as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. 
but in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. First down, Tampa Bay. They'll look to throw here on first down. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And incomplete on the deep ball. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. Third down is the down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They were caught in no man's land that time, but the decision to go for it, that was the right one. It's a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Tackle Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. He'll try and run it. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six with the ball on the seven. At the Panthers' seven-yard line. His pass caught at the four. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. That's good for 28 yards. They'll look to throw. There goes a deep ball. End zone. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, there's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter what the man or zone. Deep ball, short ball. And that was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. He was trying to go back to Moore there. Third down here. And 10 yards to go. Back to throw again. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. to throw again forced out to his left taking a shot for Samuel that's caught inside the 20 and they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line fourth down conversion plays you usually think one two three yards maybe 10 not there what a huge pickup as this and he'll take this into the end zone touchdown Carolina Curtis Samuel already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Buccaneers 21, Panthers 14. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. down the middle of the field and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line seven yards there at a first down i think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender yeah well there they ran into a first down executed it to perfection and a quick throw here that's complete and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Flush to his right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And that is incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Check him, 
As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Escaping the pressure right. He can run. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they're going to come up empty here on fourth down. You think about it, Charles. This is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot. In that time, he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get into the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect. Check the football because there's always going to be people around. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. Here's a throw dropped off to his fullback. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. But how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watch it? And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Should rely more on the passing attack? I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try to find some targets in the open field downfield. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards there, first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He's taken down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's back to throw. Smith catches left side. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Back to throw. Result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the posts, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow.
be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. They'll try it again now after the five-yard walk-off. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. The game at 21 apiece. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Bear catch made at the 25-yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A great Monday night to wrap up the week in football. Two division rivals and a great finish ahead as we come up on first and ten. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. To number 30. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Some pretty good games all weekend. We may have saved the best. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Going to throw right side here, complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, Got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself. And oh, he coughed it up, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on. And that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yep, the opportunity squashed. Looks like he'll throw here. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man.